that's I just want to I, I want to add something to this because the the issue of uh, turning on your camera was such a big one. Uh, one of them is you know I look at our backgrounds and for many students this is the first time they've ever seen like they've ever not been a in a sterile white classroom right. Mm -hmm. They see a visible uh, you know blankets from their heritage or Black Lives Matter poster in the background right. And and this is empowering the students for the. For some of them, it's the first time they've ever seen it in a learning environment, right? Um, and, and I think it's a wonderful opportunity to think about the art that we have, like how do we create a welcoming cultural space? Uh, the other thing about the camera is it's really important to think about the different demands of being in person, but also on a camera, right? Uh, for some, it doesn't require preparation. For others, they feel as though they need to prepare. Uh, one student told me her professor was the only man she would see all day. And she was very thankful because she didn't have to turn her camera on and didn't have to put her hijab on that day, right? So this is something that obviously I don't experience and it's it's just a way to kind of equalize or give students the agency to decide um, how they're spending their time and um, preparing to be seen, whether on camera or in person.